Contra Costa County, making sure that they're prepared for an extreme fire season. Good evening. I'm Ken Bastido. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. A new emergency plan is now in place for an area known as La Morinda, which includes Lafayette, Orinda, Moraga, and Canyon. That's more than 62,000 residents in critical wildland fire hazard areas. KPIX 5's John Ramos on what the plan looks like. People live in neighborhoods like this for the beauty, but the wildfires in wine country and paradise have taught us these can also be places of danger. When you saw what was happening to paradise, were you thinking this could happen here? I, myself and everybody else in Lafayette. Get off the main drag in the city of Lafayette and many of the neighborhoods look a lot like the area's hardest hit by the wildfires. The streets are narrow and trees tower over homes. But when you have a community of a similar population, similar geography that is impacted as much as Paradise was, um, absolutely, it's going to raise the stakes for us to say, hey, are we as prepared as we can be today? So first responders have created a booklet that will be mailed to all residents in the Lafayette, Moraga and Orinda communities to better prepare them in case they have to evacuate a fire zone. The booklet gives tips on getting out quickly, creating an emergency evacuation kit, and how to record important documents that may be lost in a fire. How to save your life by getting out, but also how to recover and get everything, not back, but get back to a normal lifestyle after, after a disaster like a wildfire. One of the areas of concern is Spring Hill Road, where homes sit along a wooded street that narrows to one lane. In March, first responders staged a live evacuation drill to show residents how crowded things could get during a fire. But perhaps most important is communication. Contra Costa County has a community warning system that sends alerts to all AT&T hardwired phones. But officials say people with cell phones or internet-based phone service must register their numbers with the county to receive an emergency alert. If they're not registered, we have no idea that they exist. First responders say early warning can be the difference between life and death in a wildfire. And that's why preparing for one begins with registering all phones to get emergency alerts. 